Hi, uh, welcome back to our channel. Yeah, so you know, uh, in this video, uh, I want to talk about you know the cost of production in in poultry farming. You know, a lot of people sometimes be asking about this uh, farm, their like poultry farm, or so they want to go into poultry farm and they want to know how much it will cost them, you know, to start a poultry farm. You know, and one thing that I realized that most people think that because uh, it's Africa or everything has to be cheap and all of that so once you tell them the cost of production of for a poultry farm you know they begin to think that you might be lying so now you know i'm going to put this out there if anybody you know you know who is into poultry farm please verify this for me and you know we are going to go through this i know i might miss something and maybe you might underestimate something overestimate something so all right here we go you know, if you want to do like uh, a thousand chickens, you know, for poultry farm, this is not included in the, the building is not included, just the cost of production alone. So right now, I'm going to start the cost of day, day old chicks. You know, the cost of day, day old chicks alone in Ghana right now ranges from between 12 cities per one chick to about 15 cities. But based on our calculation, we are going to use 12 cities. So if you are buying one chick for 12 cities, so a thousand of them is going to be 12,000 cities. That 12,000 cities plus transportation to bring them, the transportation alone, it might cost you about 600 cities for you to bring your chicks to your farm based on your location. So this is the average. So after you bring your chicks to your farm, you know, now you're going to have to, you know, feed them. This is where the actual poultry farm issue starts from. No, for the first month, you no, know, on average, you might spend close to about nine thousand two hundred and forty to feed this base. And here's the thing: look over here. Right now, as of today, today's day is the uh, today is the twentieth. You know, I'm recording this on the on the twentieth of November. So, average cost of feed as at now is about. 308 eight cities per bag which is 50 kg bag right now it's more expensive than that but I, i'm just sticking with the average because it ranges from about 290 to about 360 per bag that is the range based on where you are buying your feed from and if you are doing poultry farm if you are don't buy quality feed when it's time for your best to lay they will not lay and you continuously feeding them and all of uh, doing all of that too is costing you so trying to go cheap it, it might end up affecting you and you might end up spending more money in the future to feed this base so the first month you know usually in the first month you can actually play around with these figures because they might not eat that much you know so maybe you might be able to save about let's say a thousand to two thousand cities over here in the the second month, you might end up spending about 13,860 cities to feed in them. Because as they grow, they eat more. So in the first month, what I did is, in the calculation, I did about one bag per day. That they will be eating through, uh, on average, per, the four, per day for the whole for the whole month, for 1,000 bears. And on the second month, what I did is about one and a half bag per day for the whole base, you know. On average, you know, like I said, you can play around with these two the amount of feed you give them, you know, to save at least about 5,000 cities between these two. You know? And then what happens is on the third month to go into the sixth month, and I did, I did six months because around five to six months, that's when you can actually say, okay, now almost all my bears are laying that. You don't have to put money into the business and they, you can sell their eggs to pay for, to let the business run itself and you can be making profit. And so from the third month to about the, to the sixth month, they basically eat about the exact same feed a day, like about two bags of feed a day. You know, you can ask any poultry farmer and let them give you the estimate, their own estimate too. Most people even give them more than two bags a day because this is 50 kg bags. Some people give them 150 kg bag a day. 
you know that's why i'm saying if you buy quality feed then that two bag will be okay because every new all the nutrients that they need will be in there and it will be enough for them you know so you can be providing vitamin supplements so that what is lacking in the feed you know they can have in their water as vitamin so in the third month you spend about eighteen thousand four hundred eighty fourth month about the exact same thing fifth month about the exact same thing sixth month about the exact same thing until you get rid of the best if the cost of everything stays the same if you put all of these together the total will come up to about ninety seven thousand cities and 20 like 97,000 cities you that's what i'll put it for six months of feeding alone after feeding then you come to their vaccinations and medications so these are the vaccinations is because you don't want your best to die after, after spending all this money if you don't want to vaccinate them then that is up to you if any sickness come you can wipe them all out but it's advisable to do that if you are doing commercial farming unless you are doing some free range way way down in the forest somewhere that there's no human contact or anything you know, then you can skip these vaccinations and things you know, and just uh, prevent people from coming there to spread disease and also so the medications which is vitamins on those things is very very important if you give them vitamins in their water whatever nutrients that they are lacking in their feed they will get that so after all of these you also the water is usage you know because you have to calculate everything that you are giving them into your cost of production so the water usage alone you might spend about 750 cities per month you know for a thousand bears to drink water yeah. so that one alone for the six months at the end of six months you will come out to four thousand five hundred for six months and also the labor in the work you know for thousand bears you can get maybe one worker to take care of them you know, so that one worker you probably i don't know based on where you are if you're in the village or somewhere and you have provided accommodation and food for them you might be able to pay them 500 cities per month per one person and for the six months you're probably going to be spending about three thousand cities for that person and also there will be replacements of sawdust you know the wood chip that they sleep on the sawdust the cost for that six months you probably spend about let's say nine i would say like about yeah, 900 cities for the six months for changing sawdust you know if people come and help you you have to pay them now if you put all of these together for the six months total you are heading to about one hundred and twenty six thousand cities for six months for you to feed these bears until they are all laying for you to make your money back you know or for the business to run itself so when you come if you convert this money into us dollars at, at this rate i think one dollar is about 13 cities yes so you'll be about nine thousand six hundred and three approximately let's say ten thousand dollars to feed the, uh, this base for six months so let's go over here because people will somebody will ask okay after i do all of this then what will my profit be so we're going to go back here and do calculations but you see all of these numbers that i gave you over here for the cost of production for six months you know if you are very very careful and experienced poultry farmer you can make some small small adjustment but you will be around maybe you can save that six hundred dollars and be about around let's say nine thousand I mean, there are some utilities that i didn't add like an electric bill and all those things they are not in here and also some things like uh the feeders that you buy and all of those those are just the setup whenever you are setting up your buildings and all of that you have to do all of those things you know, and don't expect to make all your money back within that year for the money that you use in the structure building and all those things you no know. It will take you about five years to make all those ones back. So if you come over here, okay. so this is the profit 
you know, production or profit calculations. So after you feed all these birds for six months, okay, and they started laying, what did, or the average daily cost for you, you know, the average daily cost from that six months going, after you subtract, uh, you put your feeding cost, all of that in there, your water bill, your workers pay, uh, 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 in a day you probably spend about 702 cities a day for uh, everything so on the average monthly cost you know, for the feed and all of that labor and all of that for them it's going to be about 21,063 cities uh, for, for monthly cost this is all included the feed and everything is included and all the labor so we are going to do production of the chickens and based on 80% uh, production. So for a thousand bears, if 80% of them are laying, but it's better to just do that. Because if you do everything right, you can get the 95%, 90, uh, 99% laying rate is up to you. you uh, if you don't try to cut corners. So right now, as now, you know, a crate of egg is going for for 40 cities yeah, right now on average maybe based on your location and you can sell it more than that and a lot of people are selling uh, more than that uh, maybe uh, 42 43 45 per crate based on your location still so if uh, so in a day for thousand bears if you are calculating 80 percent or maybe let's say 800 of them are laying in a day you are going to get about 27 crates of eggs a day so that 27 crates of egg in a, at an average price of egg uh, crate 40 cities so 40 times 27 you're going to get a thousand and eighty cities so a thousand and eighty cities per day production if you subtract your daily cost from it which is 702 cities from it you get about 378 cities profit per day so that 378 uh, cities profit per day will be your own money so if you multiply this 378 cities per day by 30 or so for the month in a month you'll be making about 11,340 if you if you do everything right you know, in the beginning you know you have to keep your biosecurity tight you have to provide all medication vaccination so that your best will not be dying because if they all die by the time you get to the six months you probably lose about 200 of them or 300 then your production will go your profit will go down because that's one thing about poultry farm if you try to cut corners man it will come back and hurt you uh, later on in the future so after you've done all of this you know these bears they have to be laying for about at least uh, two years before you get rid of them you know from because that's what i'm uh, like i i plan on doing all the time from the production date you have to keep them for two years before you get rid of them so for that two years if you based on this your profit will be about two two hundred and seventy two thousand one hundred and sixty cities so with this if you subtract your initial cost of 126 cities and 220 uh, yeah well, let's say 126 cities 126,000 cities from it and that will be whatever is left will be your profit you know and because prices of things keep changing these things will also be changing and the, the good thing about poultry farm is whenever anything that you are doing increases you also have to increase your the cost of uh, your your the crate how much you are selling your crate for so you can actually maintain your profit margin all the time if you are doing a, a, enough calcul calculations so that you know you can always adjust your the prices of your your eggs so if anybody is looking to go into poultry farming this is what you are looking at right now as of now in 2022 we are in november 2022 
these things they can change anytime they can either go up or go down you know the cost of feed is getting more and more in ghana right now so i think if you plan on starting the area you start the better i think that that would be the best way to go you know with all of these calculations that i did the structure prices and all of that is not in there but approximately if you are trying to keep a thousand bears you know you're trying to build your structure you might call you might you might spend about hundred thousand cities to about hundred and twenty thousand cities on the structure alone and to build it all right thank you guys for watching you know if anybody want or if you want more details about this you, you can just let me know and I can go into details on some things that you know you might not have underst understood. You know, and also I might try maybe in the future do an estimated cost on the structure, you know, and the feeders and all those things that you buy, you know, so that you can start your production fully. And then you know how much it actually costs to set up everything. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, share it, and subscribe.